Welcome to DerekWeaver.com. In this video, we're going to detail the calibration of the W957 wheel balancer. In order to calibrate the balancer, you'll need a 14, 15, or 16 inch wheel in good condition. And prior to the calibration, you'll need to remove the wheel weights and enter the wheel dimensions. First, we'll enter the distance with the distance arm, entered with the distance key plus or minus. Next, the rim width, measured with the rim width caliper, entered with the breadth key, and then the diameter taken from the tire. In order to start the calibration procedure, first you will press the home key once, the distance plus key once, then the home key twice. The screen will read position and a number in this window. Rotate the turn wheel until the number is at 110. Press the people key and then rotate to 120. Press the people key again. Now the screen says add zero. Spin the turn wheel assembly. Line up your location and use your three and a half ounce calibration weight and line it up at top dead center or 12 o'clock. Pay close attention to the location. It's very important for the calibration to come out correctly. Spin the machine again. Remove the three and a half ounce calibration weight from this side and apply it to the inner plane at top dead center. Once again, paying close attention to where you put the weight. Spin the machine. The balancer has saved the information, but it's always a good idea to resave the information by hitting the home key and the diameter plus key. It's always a good idea after calibrating to perform a wheel balance to verify that the balancer is working properly. Apply the necessary weights. and verify that it does indeed balance the wheel. Now take a known weight amount, in this case we're using the two ounce weight, and we're just going to apply it anywhere on the wheel to create a two ounce imbalance. And again, spin the wheel. If the machine's reading cor correctly, it will show two ounces on the plane where you put the weight, as well as the two ounce weight shows up at six o'clock. You can do the same thing for the outer plane. The two ounce imbalance should line up directly at six o'clock. That concludes the calibration for the W957 wheel balancer. Thank you for using DerekWeaver.com for all your automotive equipment needs.